Hello and welcome to my mini class for this summit. My name is Mai. I'm a birth keeper and a yoga teacher where my focus is on mothers and babies. That's truly where my heart lies. Um, and in this class, I want to talk about the breath. Um, and I named it breath as an anchor. And this is because through both my births, I really felt that the breath was an anchor. Um, both meanwhile, the searchers and the waves were going on. Uh, it helped me stay connected and grounded. And, and also in the pauses in between, they really like helped or the breath really helped me enjoy the pauses and, and yeah and also uh, what I saw in my second birth uh, where I birthed at home it became just like this really meditative state so yeah I wanted to share with you um, a, a little bit about the breath so maybe you can try it and see if it fits for you so one point that I wanted to talk about is uh, that how the body is connected. Uh, our jaws and our neck, they say, is connected with our womb space and especially our like the cervix. So when we relax our jaw and our neck, this relaxes the womb and the, and the cervix. So when we go in with, you know, the breath goes through here, so we can do it with the breath, like breathing in and then focusing on relaxing the jaw and the neck. And then visualizing how this also, uh, how this like also calm, like relaxes and, and, and let go of, of the of the womb and the cervix lets it open and giving space for the baby yeah even maybe doing like a big inhale <laughs> blubbering the lips if you feel like it's too tight yeah so this can help like <laughs> stimulate it and then just letting go oh, maybe sighing out some sound is super super helpful so trying to, maybe we can try to do like an exercise together. So we, yeah, I invite you to maybe close your eyes if that feels okay for you. Take an inhale. And exhale, side out. Ah. One more time with sound or blubbering lips. Inhale. And exhale. Maybe now try blubbering the lips. Inhale. And out. Mm. And see how that felt in your body. And opening your eyes again. So, yeah, maybe if this is the first time for you, it feels really strange and you are like, what is this sound that I'm making or it feels weird, but I just want to let you know that this is our mechanism we have that is our guard dog and when things become weird and we have this, that it's kind of protects us so I just want you to to relax and, and, and know that it's normal so just feel free to try it out and also making sound already during pregnancy making this this primal sounds so that you will get used to it when when you are there in in the birth and you are gonna make these sounds and you are not gonna be like oh my god what is <laughs> so you have been doing all this already during their pregnancy so when you are there you can you are just you can just let the rational mind and the guard dog like go
go down and 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 yeah so you can be totally in your body um so yeah that was one point and also the other point i wanted to uh, talk about is with the bread you can go it's like a gateway um or yeah it's uh it's, it's a door that that we can go into and and from there we can we can connect with the parasympathetic uh, nervous system which is the part of the nervous system which can help us um, stay connected grounded and calm um, so with the breath we can we can we can like nourish that part and and really help stimulate that part um, and how do we do that is with focusing on exhales making them like longer than the inhales so it's a technique that is called one two so you can um, um, so yeah you can either for some people it works counting so maybe we would go uh, counting inhale four uh, four times so one two three four and they are out um, the exhale maybe seven or eight what feels good and you can doesn't really matter the exact numbers just having the the exhale a little bit longer than the inhale um, and you can see if it works for you to be counting for some people that's really not great it doesn't feel good don't worry just don't do it then um, just then try to feel okay can I make the exhale longer than the inhale so it's yeah um, yeah so I wanted to try that um, that that exercise also <sighs> So again, I invite you to close your eyes and connect with the breath. Just let it flow freely. So inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I let you just try it on your own. Great. And just let it go. Come back, see how that felt in the body and open your eyes. So again, like really the counting isn't that important. Like for me, um, it helped. I like to maybe starting with counting and then when I feel like okay I, I got it I have I got a grip on it now then I can let the counting um, go and I just focus on on, uh, on the breath um, um, yeah so and also another point that I wanted to to add on to it is that you can then put a picture um, add a picture uh, so a visualization uh, you can visualize um, a picture 
So meanwhile, when you have, when you, when you feel like you are there with the breath, then adding a picture can be really great, um, and it just adds to this, um, to the meditation and the mindfulness. Um, so one example can be a flower that's opening slowly, opening maybe a rose. Another one that is great is, um, is yeah, uh, are our waves, so big ocean waves. So when you inhale, you focus or you see big waves going up, and when you exhale, you see them going down. So inhale, going up, and exhale down. So that one I really love. <laughs> and if you're not uh, so visual or, or maybe you feel like that's a little bit too um, imaginative, maybe you, you like more just focusing on the body, you can also just visualizing how like connecting with the womb and feeling how the the cervix is opening to the sides making space for the baby to come down so that the, there is great space for the baby to go down so this is, is also a visualization which is really 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 helpful and also really beautiful way to connect with the baby so making the, it like a dance between you and and, and the baby which is which it already is. And um, one detail that I wanted to to talk about is how the breath and the and the pelvic floor is um, connected, or the pelvic muscles more are connected. Is that um, I think that when 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 we can visualize this. It can sometimes like make it more easy to to let go of of the pelvic muscles so that we can just completely relax down there and and give space um, so imagining these are our lungs when we inhale they go like this out, pushing the diaphragm down, so everything down. So when we inhale, actually the, the pelvic floor goes a little bit down. When we inhale, the lungs go like this again, and the pelvic floor does like a little lift this is the normal breathing uh, the normal breath pattern so yeah uh, inhale down and exhale up so but during the birth I think can be really great to focus on in so 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 we breathe in you know it goes down and when we breathe out, of course the lungs are going to go like this, but we can still have the focus on relaxing the pelvic floor down. So we inhale, just normal, and breathing down, letting go and relaxing the pelvic floor. So how do, how do we do this? It's just try to would the mind connect with the pelvic floor feel how you can how you can maybe squeeze it and let it go so try to inhale exhale let it go so the focus is more downwards in the out yeah that's also one exercise so okay getting all these exercises together i wanted to say that 
try them out see how they feel to you if some of them don't work then don't use it <laughs> it's totally fine if they work i'm so happy that's great and and i really encourage you to to start practicing already during your pregnancy because i think that that's so um such a great way to to just integrate it in our body so that during birth actually when we are there we don't have to remember oh how was that technique that i was uh, talking about uh, the one two breath uh, yeah so we are we'll just go to uh, into our rational minds which we don't want really so if you have been practicing this it will be a part of of your body you will know it and you will you will be able to just embody it and just be doing it by your body will know it and be doing it by itself and yeah that and also i wanted to also add um that really don't take it too serious <laughs> now you can try them and play with them and and really don't be afraid to to do it perfectly or or think that you have to do it this way um, the most important is that it feels good to you and also and also like you don't have to use them like during the whole birth process you can use them sometimes and let them go sometimes and also also what i really think is great that if you maybe talk to your maybe your your partner or someone that's going to be there at the birth and tell them like like tell them the phrase before birth is an anchor oh <laughs> sorry breath is an anchor so that um so that yeah so maybe w when 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 you when you when you go into this like fear state or or into the mind that person can be there and just and and, and hold you and and breathe there with you so if the person will start to breathe you will start to mirror this person breathing calmly that's how we co-regulate each other um, which is also a very beautiful practice so yeah i think that's it for me so i really want to thank you for listening to this class i hope you enjoyed it and I'm really sorry if I rambled. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wish you all the best and good luck with your birth. P.S. I want to <laughs> let you know that I offer um, coaching, birth and power coaching. And also I offer birth trauma debrief sessions where... Yeah, you can read more about my work on my website, so go check it out. Thank you. <laughs>